I'm live today at Toledo Memorial Park and uh, what you're looking at is the Veterans Monument. If you've ever been to Toledo Memorial Park in Sylvania, this really is one of the outstanding uh, pieces of architecture, statuary uh, inside the park and it, it may even be the oldest. I'm with Jeff Clegg uh, who runs Toledo Memorial Park and uh, Jeff, uh, when was this put up? Do you know offhand? Well, we were founded in 1922 and uh, they started construction on that shortly after and I think it was finished around 1928. So right after World War One, and then can I assume then that the battles, I, I noticed Marne, the name Marne up there, and I remember that battle from my history class. Are all the battles mentioned on this particular monument from World War One? then? Yes, at the base, all, they're all engraved with the major battles okay. of, of World War One. Now I know you did some restoration on this just a couple of years ago. Does that explain the, uh, uh, the marble slates at the bottom of the monument now? Right, during the uh, renovation we added uh, all of those niche banks for mm -hmm. uh, veterans to be uh, interred in uh, for so, cremation. So when a veteran passes away, if, if he's cremated, he can be buried right there in the base of the Veterans Monument? Right, and you become part of the tower. That's pretty cool. Now the uh, cemetery, of course, was uh, started, as uh, Jeff said, uh, just after World War I. It was started as a uh, not-for-profit uh, cemetery for the city of Sylvania. If you've ever been out here, you know in, in the last couple of years they've done some, um, I don't even want to call them improvements because the park is just so beautiful on its own, but you've done some things to uh, kind of commemorate uh, not just first responders, uh, but veterans also. And one of them we're coming up on right now, this uh, star that you dedicated, was it last year or two years ago already? It was last year, November. Last year. And what are the names on this uh, particular star that's right across from the Veterans Tower? Well, as you can see, uh, engraved on there, on that star, there's 323 names of uh, veterans of World War I that never returned. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't know if it was an Eagle Scout project or something, yeah. but they planted a tree in, every, in those soldiers' names all around the park, and that's why Toledo Memorial Park is so beautiful. It, it really is, Because a tree yeah. was planted back in the early 20s to oh, honor those amazing. soldiers. So those are all the names of the soldiers who never returned uh, to the United States and here to Lucas County and Sylvania and the Toledo area, but had a tree planted in their name somewhere in the park. Right. And as you look around the park, as I just as I just kind of scan around the park, you'll see uh, it really is. It's just it's so much more than a cemetery. It really is just a beautiful place uh, to come and relax. Uh, and they invite you, in fact, to come out and drive through, uh, come out and have lunch, uh, come out and just sit and meditate. There's some beautiful bench areas out here. We're also going to take a look at one other area this morning, and that is the new first responder area that they have set up on the other side of the park. 